average of one hour and 45 minutes on the toilet every week. What are you doing in there? We're getting to the bottom of your bottom. America wants to know and we want to know now. The Stool Squad. Yes, indeed, the yeah. Stool Squad is back to answer your most common and most embarrassing questions. So please welcome Dr. Jorge Rodriguez and Dr. David Rosenfeld. Yeah. Yeah. We get so many questions about what's going down in the bathroom. So to help us pick which questions to answer today, it's time to spin the wheel of poop. Ouch, mm. dairy diarrhea. This topic comes from one of our viewers on Twitter. She writes, I'm lactose intolerant, but the medication I take doesn't do anything to help me. I want to enjoy dairy without the diarrhea. I don't blame you. Why is this happening? <laughs> the first thing is I think the diagnosis of lactose intolerance is highly you know, overused, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We could get a little bit of gas and we could get a little bit of squirt. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but a we do. Bit of squirt. You know, yeah. squirts, squirt. and it doesn't mean that you're lactose intolerant. Just like gluten intolerant. Exactly. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, gluten, but, yeah. but how yeah. many yeah. people but truly we're... have celiac? I mean, bread's yeah. been around for 5,000 years. Suddenly we're all gluca you know, gluten right. intolerant. Yeah. I don't right. think so. Um, so, you know, maybe you should go see a doctor because maybe what you have is bacterial overgrowth. Maybe right. you're mm. having something that's a little bit, you know, too fatty in, in right. your gut. And I mean, lactose intolerance, I mean, it is there. People don't digest the lactose, which is in milk. Um, you know, they try pills, there are enzymes, it just doesn't work. And then my, you know, the only thing I have to say is it's frustrating, but you just can't have milk products. So ice cream does slow down the GI tract. So a lot of people don't have an issue with ice cream when they eat it. And cheese has a lot less lactose than just dairy okay. milk. So a lot of people can eat ice cream and cheese without the issue. But if they drink a glass of milk, they get really bloated, crampy, and then they have a lot of diarrhea. How do you confirm the diagnosis of yeah. la being lactose intolerant? Well, you can go and you can have certainly allergy tests done, mm -hmm. actually, that will show you whether you have have antibodies to actual protein, you know, that is in uh, in milk because it isn't, the, I mean, lactose is a sugar. Mm -hmm. It isn't really a protein. So you really don't develop a, an antibody or, you know, an allergy to that. You just don't have an enzyme that breaks down right. that yeah. sugar. All right, it's time. Let's give the wheel another spin. Uh-oh. Toilet texting. So, Docs, is texting on the toilet bad for your health? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you... Going to the bathroom and having a bowel movement shouldn't be any longer than peeing. And I don't know, I never see a guy at a urinal texting while he's peeing. First of all, he's got to oh. kind of hold on. But when you're done, <laughs> you're done. You zip, you flush, you wash your hands, you're out the door. And if men sat, sat to pee, we'd sit, we'd pee, we'd get up and we'd go. So if you have a, a regular bowel movement, it comes out in 30 seconds to a minute. When that's, you get done, you're not going to say that's bad. That's bad. It's normal. Yeah, he is. Like, yeah. you should compare your colon to Dr. Rosenfeld's colon. He said it's he poops, food. he doesn't it's, have it's to wash, fiber. wipe. If yeah. toilet seats were meant to be sat on, we'd be sitting on them right now. Right? We're sitting no, on chairs. Well. Why are you sitting in the toilet for 20 minutes texting and reading? I don't text stuff? for 20 well, minutes. I'm looking at you, but I don't know. I'm just looking. <laughs> well, that's what's wrong. I'm looking at everybody. I don't take my phone on the we toilet. I mean, you do your business. Paper. Paper. Yeah, I totally, I totally, totally disagree. I send some of my best tweets from the I toilet. Do. <laughs> I, I, I do. I and he does, he does all his counseling. <laughs> his couple I'm, counseling. I'm, I'm like you. I right? multitask. Yeah. All right, but the problem is, even as an intern, you know how many like pages I lost down a toilet really? because you're doing mm -hmm. this or and now the phone's gone in there sometimes. But Bye. all right, I don't go and grab it back. <laughs> you know, calm it's down. Like, it says that women spend 85 minutes per week on the toilet. Men spend an average of one hour and 45 minutes on the toilet every week. What are you doing in there? I don't think That's it's fair insane. because I it's don't think it's fair because I feel as though my female friends, they try to go to the restroom to get away. Their kids like literally want to sit on their lap while they're peeing, guys get to go and hang out for like two hours. What are you doing in there? They're waiting to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> America wants to know. No, 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 no. Are you alone? Are you, yeah, what are you doing? Okay, so women 
shouldn't take a long time to get ready. Why can't we take a long time in the that back? That is not it's the, the same thing. It's the new me time. It's the new me time. We want some me time. Anybody right. want some me time? You're just the question. Right. Right. Well, I don't know what we're doing in there. I mean, we're, we're I don't know. They <laughs> could be reading various things. We got to move point on. Is, Sorry yeah. about that. We're okay. not going to answer that one. All right, let's give the wheel. Let's give the wheel one more spin. All right. Bad sleep equals mm. indigestion. So I, I think there may be something to this. That bad sleep causes indigestion. See, that's, my, my whole thing is what came first, the chicken or right. the egg? Are you not sleeping well because you have right. indigestion mm -hmm. and silent reflux coming up, up right. which mm -hmm. could be a big deal. It could also lead to sleep apnea. You know, all these yeah. things coming up to your throat sometimes, to your sinuses. But as far as I know, I haven't had many patients that have insomnia first or don't sleep and right. then that causes indigestion right I, I think it's the the irritable sleep you get because of the reflux mm -hmm. you think you're sleeping you're really not um, and you're kind of tossing and turning you don't get a good night's sleep you wake up then you really feel it and you say boy I didn't get a good night's sleep I have an indigestion though it is true a good night's sleep is very healthy so we can wake up with joint pain other mm -hmm. issues uh, you know other inflammatory processes from not getting good night's sleep we definitely lower our immune system when we don't get enough sleep and that can trigger other inflammatory processes so um, it's possible but it's more likely the other way around yep. but getting a good mm. night's sleep is obviously you know at least eight hours extremely important to our health I do <laughs> say I want to set up a time where maybe we can get together for dinner circle dinner circle back to that whole thing again. Yeah. Yeah. listen thanks docs Jorge thank you guys thank you yes great job buddy thank you, thank you. stick around we'll be right back